This year, app developers have found more and more of their apps being rejected on the App Store and reports of entire developer accounts being banned because Apple says they're spamming. So how can you avoid your Apple developer account being banned and how to overcome the rising increase in Apple's spam rejections? AI has made it easier than ever to build, release and profit from creating apps in the App Store. And for the past few years, it's been every independent app developer's dream. Find a low competing keyword, build an app and release. But it wasn't always like this. Before AI, it would take me a month to create even the most simplest of apps. A week of building, a week of planning, a week of debugging, and a week to launch. And just a few years ago, that was considered kind of crazy. Now, all it takes you is a few days to build a simple app. And if you're not doing that, you're doing something wrong. But what does it mean for the App Store and what does it mean for us as independent app developers? Turns out Apple is starting to fight back. Since January 2025, I've seen an increase in the number of app rejections for spam. The official rejection, guideline 4.3a, design spam. We notice your app shares similar binary metadata and or concept of other apps already submitted to the App Store. This was the rejection I got when I copied one of my existing apps, adding a few new features and targeting a slightly different keyword. The original app, best video splitter. An app that splits a video into one minute chunks for use on reels and stories. The new app, Best Video Resizer. An app that resizes your video to fit the aspect ratio for reels and stories. In this case, both icons were similar and the functionality was kind of related. So I can see where they're coming from. But I've never had this type of rejection before. Not before 2025, at least. Each app was reviewed based on its own merits and its own functionality. This was the first time they checked any of my existing apps and cross compared them. And it kind of freaked me out. Don't go Googling your rejections. It's like asking Google to diagnose a pain in your side. It's always cancer. But in this case, it's always, your developer account is about to be permanently banned. Others have been noticing the same problem lately, including AI scanner apps. These are the AI wrapper apps I talked about for the past few years, and they were an easy money spinner for a time. Perhaps not anymore. So what is even going on here, and how do we possibly recover from this? And how do we even avoid being labeled spam in the first place. You can spend weeks building an app only for it to be rejected. And it seems like there's not much you can do about it. Nick tried submitting an appeal, called Apple and even filmed an explanation. He changed his core value proposition and went as far as to rename the app and change all of his screenshots. As we're recording this, he's still trying to get past that spam rejection. But there is some good news. Said finally got his app approved after multiple spam rejections. What worked for him? He removed the submission and acknowledged the issue with the app reviewer. He showed a willingness to cooperate rewrote his entire code base and added new features. He even designed the screenshots from scratch. But that's a lot of effort though. There are types of rejections which can negatively impact your Apple developer account. Spam rejections are just one of them. Get too many of these and you can have your account scrutinized and ultimately shut down. But why is Apple even doing this? It looks to me that Apple is actively cleaning up their store. But this isn't anything new. Going back to 2021, if you tried to submit an astrology app, a flashlight app, or any other app in a saturated space, Apple would instantly reject you. Your app duplicates the content and functionality of many similar apps currently available on the App Store, which is considered a type of spam. We have enough of these apps on the App Store already. These types of decisions are entirely at Apple's discretion. And it looks like when they decide that they no longer want an entire app category anymore, there's not a whole lot more you can do about it. According to 42 Matters, 47,124 apps are submitted to the App Store every month. That's over 1,500 new apps every single 
day. How many of those apps are now generated by AI? And how many of those apps are of a lower quality than ever before? It's hard to tell, but Apple kind of has to do something here. If every single niche is about to get saturated with these low AI developed apps, what does it mean for existing app developers? Without any intervention from Apple, the entire app store could be decimated. Users who once used the App Store to find quality apps will slowly start turning away. It's in our best interest as app developers for Apple to protect the App Store and to only let the highest quality apps in. And if you ended up building an app and you're already on the App Store and Apple have decided they don't want any more of this app, good for you. Your position in the App Store is now protected. No more competition coming from online anytime soon. But how do we avoid getting apps listed as spam in the first place? Keep your developer account in good standing with Apple. If you've been rejected for spam, try to avoid future apps that could also be rejected. You don't want to accumulate these types of rejections on your account. Consider a cooldown period. Your Apple developer account may have a higher level of scrutiny for the next few weeks after a spam rejection. Consider taking a break from pushing updates and hold off any new app releases. If you've been rejected for spam, seriously consider whether the app is even worth it. Can you swallow your pride on this and move on to building something else? If so, you should consider doing just that. You won't be able to remove the app from your library and over time, it'll just be buried under your new releases. Don't fight the app reviewer and don't continue to submit new versions of your app without providing any context or additional follow-up. This is the exact action of a spammer and could get your account banned. In the case of my best videos resizer app, I abandoned this project altogether and I combined both apps into one called Video Splitter and Resizer.